How you going? The big man here. The regional road trip is four days of travel throughout New South Wales country. I think there's going to be some stories here that's going to amaze you. I can't wait to take you with me. Well, it's a big man here, day three. We're at the MA Davidson Reserve. The teams have come from all around here, Trangy, Narromine, Dubbo. Some, I think, have driven up to eight hours. There's also a few ex-players going to make their way down here to show support to Ronnie Gibbs, who's their great mate. Most of them are country boys anyway. We're here for the Ronnie Gibbs Sevens. It's gonna be a great day. I've got the captain of the Ningen side here, Digby. Are you confident you'll do well today? Yeah, mate. I for three wins. Three wins? Yeah. What, what do you like about it particularly? Don't have to go to school. That's a bonus. It's just fun playing footy as well. Go, go! The Ronnie Gibbs Sevens has, has plenty of support. I think it's its 25th year this year, so uh, the great Ronnie Gibbs does a great job with it and the communities get behind it and it's a great day had by all. Where does this sit in the NRL's mind? Ronnie looks puts a lot of effort and time play. into this, so I think I rate this is up pretty high on our rugby league calendar. Yeah, it's an opportunity for, for kids to show their excellence, and to me, that's what it's all about. They get to play with their mates, and they get to connect with their communities. Parents can come down, and the wider community can come down and see what they're doing. And when we have players who go on to bigger and better things, it's a real boon for the town, a real boon for the yeah. community. Nathan Blacklock's here, one of the great players of the modern era. What a player he was. How you going? Last couple of years, Ronnie's, uh, Ronnie's invited me out, and I've done some work in the uh, our bush out here with Ronnie out west. And yep. mate, everything I do comes from him. Ron basically brings rugby league to these communities, these remote areas. Mate, he he organises uh, coaching clinics. Um, you know, he's always bringing out gear that kids um, puts on days like this. What he got today, he does an amazing job. Uh, he does a lot of hours travelling um, and, and just promotes the game. Do blokes do a post try celebration or anything? Yeah, I love that one. That's one of the great post try celebrations. Good work, Ningen. When you look at the footy these days and some of the post try celebrations, because I, I think you and Chock were probably the two that started it all. I mean, do you sit back and think, ah, oh, I'm a genius, look what I've done. <laughs> no, mate, I, when they start doing them celebrations, it shows me that they're loving rugby league. That's when you know they're having fun. We tend to forget rugby league's a game and go and enjoy it. What's your celebration, mate? Come down. <laughs> okay, Kai, what's your celebration, champion? Ah, uh, it's a sprinkler. Oh, I love the sprinkler. Let's get him at his best. Come on, Kai. <laughs> Come on, a bit better than that. I don't think I tap my head like you, but I'm going to do it. I'll do it. Is that it? Well, I'm here with Dominic from Ningen High School. Why is this such a good day for you guys? Why, why do you I imagine you love coming here and doing this stuff? Why do you look forward to this? Oh, well, day off school and just footy, love it. Yeah? Yeah. You think you can win today? Uh, hopefully. How about your hairstyle, champion? I do like it. Can you just turn around for us a little bit, please? Well, the haircuts are just magnificent. Of course, with blokes like Pappenhausen and Kaloa Kolomatangi, the kids, they love idolising their uh, heroes. So not only do they try and idolise them on the field, they also try to idolise their look. And I think Pappenhausen's got a lot to answer for. And you've got a good hairstyle, I like your hair. You're not dyeing your hair at your age, are you? Hell no. No, I won't be dyeing it anytime soon. Young fellas like to show how tough they are and how hard they run, but uh, no one takes a backward step out here and they just, just keep soldiering on. Congratulations with what you've achieved. I mean, 25 years of this is phenomenal. If I didn't get support from other people coming in um, and um, helping out and putting their hands up, well, there's no way I'd be able to do it. It wouldn't have made it even five years. Most of these people have been with me since day one. They're a really good bunch of people. You wouldn't get better people than that. Uh, and they do it for the same reason I do it. We love the kids and, and helping the community. Well, here's our man Digby, who was pretty confident when we spoke to him before about winning and mate, you got the chocolates. Yeah, feels good. A big side Cobart. Yeah, they were big actually. A couple of boys are pretty scared. <laughs> well, you didn't you didn't play like it. Won every game, mate. Yeah, won every game, which is really good. Struggled to get a team a little bit as well, actually. Just not a whole lot of people at Ningen High, especially over the age to play opens. How do you like celebrate tonight? Well actually I've got to go home and do footy training for the town, but 
Really? Um, yeah, probably just get ready to go to school again tomorrow. Good on you, Digby. Congratulations, mate. It's a great win for you. Well done, mate. Thank you. Good on you, boys. Congratulations.